Tracks are one of our favorites in Wyoming landscapes and they have been for over a century. As you drive down many of Wyoming's highways, you'll notice lilacs growing in many of our homesteads. Um, even some of our abandoned homesteads still have lilacs growing because they're such a hardy shrub. One of the things that you can do to make a healthier plant and a much more uh, attractive plant for the growing season is by removing the flower buds as they've finished blooming each year. And that way the plant can uh, put all of its energy into producing new leaf tissue for the coming year. And at the end of the summer growing season, put its energy into developing new flower buds that will come on early in the spring next year. For the University of Wyoming Extension, this is Donna Quinn from The Ground Up. Lilacs are very popular landscape plants in Wyoming. They're cold hardy, they have a beautiful flower, very fragrant. One of the problems with lilacs is that as they grow and age, uh, all of the, the blossoms tend to be at the top of the plant. If we can encourage that growth from the base of the plant, we'll end up with a nice full plant with foliage and blossoms from top to bottom. We're going to leave this low growing plant material and we're going to remove essentially all of the old growth off of the plant. When you start removing stems off of this plant, you want to remove them as low to the ground as possible. So this type of rejuvenation pruning is a lot more drastic than what we would typically recommend doing to our trees and shrubs. But lilacs can recover from this type of extreme pruning. The short-term result is a much smaller plant, but in the long run, we'll have a bush that's producing a lot more flowers and we'll be able to enjoy much more in our landscape. From the University of Wyoming Extension, this is Chris Hilgert and you're watching From the Ground Up.